Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today we are once again back on Warzone, and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the Uzi. Keep in mind, guys, this is going to be a very mobile, uh, aggressive class setup. It's going to be meant to be uh, your secondary that you push into buildings or push through uh, doorways with. So uh, hopefully you guys will be able to do really well with this. At the end of the video, I'm going to share with you guys an attachment that you can change to make this a little bit better if you're playing a little bit more slow-paced. But for now, this is is meant to be your secondary uh, that you're going to rush around with. So if you guys take a look at the attachments that we're going to be using, we're not going to be using a muzzle. Generally with most of my weapons in Warzone, like I'm sure a lot of you as well, uh, have the monolithic suppressor on. With this, because it's meant to be the mobility weapon, the weapon to, to push through rooms or buildings with, we don't really care about a monolithic suppressor. It's not really a big deal. So we're going to leave that off. The barrel that we're going to be using is the 8.5 inch factory mini. So you guys will see this gives us movement speed, which is number one priority with this class. We're also getting ADS speed. So a nice little boost in mobility here. This is going to be the attachment that will change later on uh, for those of you that want a little bit of a different class setup. But for this one specifically, the 8.5 inch factory mini. Uh, we are not going to be using a laser. We're also not going to be using an optic. The stock that we're going to be using is the no stock. Keep in mind, guys, this is another very, very important attachment for you to be able to move extremely fast. As you guys will see, that movement speed gives our mobility a massive boost. We're almost completely maxed out already um, and ADS speed as well. So obviously the no stock, a really good attachment to have for a running gun weapon like this. So the no stock stock. The underbarrel that we're going to be using is the Merc foregrip. So I really like the Merc foregrip for my secondary SMGs, mainly because of the hip fire accuracy. It's really great to have the recoil control as well, uh, but you'll see that we get a nice boost to accuracy and control here. I think the more important thing is the hip fire accuracy, though. If you're running into buildings or through doorways looking for those really close quarters gunfight situations, uh, being able to kind of just spray and pray and hit a lot of those shots is going to be uh, a deciding factor on whether or not you win those gunfights. So the Merc foregrip, I think, is a great way to go. The ammunition that we're running is the .41 AE 32 round max. Now, I think this is the most important thing to use. Uh, a lot of people will tell you to use the 40 round or the 50 round, and generally that's what I will say. But because this is the secondary and all of our gunfights with this are going to be really up close and personal, it doesn't matter having the 32 round mag because these are extremely powerful and are going to give you a significant boost to that damage in range. So uh, the damage boost makes all the difference. The 41 AE 32 round mags are what makes the Uzi so great. And, uh, and you're going to want to have those on if you're using this as your secondary in war zone. Now, last but not least, the rear grip that we're going to be using is stippled grip tape. Always a great way to go. Essentially a free attachment here with the Uzi with the only con being aiming stability, which affects nothing about this SMG because we don't really have idle sway. So we're getting pretty much free ADS speed as well as sprint to fire speed. So really great attachment to have on as always. Now, this is the very aggressive Uzi secondary class setup. If you guys want to play a little bit more defensive and don't want to just bum rush into buildings with it, I would change the barrel from the factory mini over to the FSS carbine. Pro. You may have to unlock this. I know a lot of people don't have this attachment unlocked. However, it is definitely worth it if you're going for range because you get an absolutely massive boost that accuracy range control. The only downside is you end up losing significant movement speed. So like I said, if you want to play a little more defensive, the, S the FSS Carbine Pro, uh, but for this specific class setup, we're going with the Factory Mini. But if you guys have any questions or anything else to add about this specific class setup for the Uzi, please make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see all you guys in the next video